So why are we talking about Schrodinger's cat today? Well, physicists recently announced that they made laser beams that act just like Schrodinger's cat. So what does that mean? First of all, Schrodinger's cat was not a real cat. It's a fictional cat that was part of a thought experiment made up by this physicist named Erwin Schrodinger back in the 1930s. Schrodinger was trying to make a point about all this new physics, this quantum physics, this physics of very small things that he and his colleagues were discovering. Around that time, they were starting to realize that at the very small level, the world doesn't work the way it does at our big level. Things can appear to have two traits that contradict each other at the same time. An atom can act like it's spinning up and spinning down at the same time. It can act like it's decayed and not decayed at the same time. And there were different interpretations about what this really meant, but the most popular one, the Copenhagen interpretation, stated that these particles, until they were observed, until someone checked whether it was spinning up or spinning down, really had both traits. They were in a superposition between both traits. And Schrodinger was making the point that this doesn't really make sense. And to say this, he said, imagine a cat that's in a steel box. And the cat's life depends on whether an atom in that box decays or doesn't decay. If the atom decays, poison gas gets released and kills the cat. If it doesn't decay, poison gas isn't released, the cat survives. And so physicists already knew that from their perspective, because they can't see the atom, it's both decayed and not decayed at the same time. So Schrodinger was saying, under that situation, the cat would be both alive and dead at the same time. And he wasn't trying to say this is something that could really happen in the real world, although maybe it could. He was trying to say, look how ridiculous our interpretation of this physics we're discovering is. We must not understand it fully. But no one's ever really come up with, like, a definitely better explanation. So today, when physicists talk about things that are both one thing and another at the same time, things that should contradict each other, like these laser pulses, they call them Schrodinger's cats. So in this case, the laser pulse is a cat, insofar as it's one thing and another at the same time. 